Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about one of our most commonly asked questions here at Supercared. Is my cat's harness escape proof? Now, it might surprise you to discover that your cat's harness is only one small piece of the jigsaw when it comes to preventing harness escapes. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you the five steps to keeping your cat's harness escape free. We're going to start off with the basics, but then I'm going to teach you the next level skills that no one ever talks about to keep your little Houdini safe and secure. So step one, pick a good harness. Now, I know what you're thinking. I promise not to talk about harnesses too much, but there are some reasons that your harness is important. So you need to look for a harness that's specially made for cats. And then you also need to look for a harness. I'll use the super kit one as a demo, but actually this is true of any type of harness. You want to look for one that has a strap that goes behind your cat's elbows. So here's the super kit harness. These are the straps that will go behind your cat's elbows. And the reason is because most cats will escape from their harness by backing out. So they'll pull it off their heads like you would pull off a pullover or a jumper. Those straps behind the elbows really help prevent that. They're not foolproof, but they are important. So that's one thing to think about when picking your cat's harness. Step two, you need to get a good fit on your cat's harness. Now, that's kind of obvious. You don't want a loose harness. It's gonna be much more easy for them to escape. But actually more than that, a harness that is loose and is like flapping around on your cat's body is gonna be uncomfortable for them. They're really sensitive to those sort of sensations. So make sure you get a good snug fit. Now I promise this is the end of me talking about harnesses. Let's get on to some more interesting stuff. Step three, we want to think about the leash safe zone. I will explain what that is in just a minute. First of all, let's get a bit technical. We've already talked about the fact that the way that our cats will be getting out of their harness, the most common way, is backing out. They're gonna be pulling the harness off over their heads. And there are things we can do to make that much more difficult for them. The first is we can keep the leash slack. If you think about it, if the harness didn't have a leash attached, they wouldn't have anything to pull against to get out. Or if we can't keep the leash slack and it is under tension, we can keep it high. That does the same thing. It just prevents our cats from creating the necessary angles to pull the harness off over their heads. Now you might be thinking, got it noted, but I will tell you that in the heat of the moment, if your cat is spooked when you're outside, your natural instinct will be to break both of these rules. So if you do find yourself in a situation where your cat is spooked outside, you're gonna to have to fight those urges and do essentially the exact opposite. You wanna to move towards your cat to take tension off the leash. And at the same time, you need to move your hand up in the air to create that nice high angle. When you're next to your cat with a leash pointing straight up, then you can start to put tension on and um, wheel yourself essentially down to the floor to scoop up your cat. You can practice this at home. It's really helpful because your natural instinct, I promise you, will be to do the exact opposite. But that is the leash safe zone. Step four, don't tether your cat. By tether, I mean attaching their leash to something and then leaving your cat unsupervised. You need to be holding the leash, doing all the things we talked about in step three. If you tether them, it's gonna be so easy for them to put the tension on the leash themselves and for them to pull their harness off over their heads. It's also worth being aware when you're out with your cat that there are situations that can create a kind of artificial tether. So if your cat runs into a bush, and their leash gets snarled, it can kind of create that same scenario. So really the cure for that is you just need to be vigilant when you're out together, look for those scenarios before they happen and keep your cat away. And finally, step five is train your cat. So you wanna start off with harness training, not just so that they'll wear their harness, but they need to love their harness. They don't want to take it off. And then I would also recommend doing some safe space training. So that's training to enjoy being in a carrier or a stroller or backpack that you'll bring with you when you go outside. And it can be somewhere that your cat can retreat to if they're ever spooked. By nailing those two bits of training, you're cutting off so many of the scenarios that could lead to a harness escape before they've ever happened. If you're just starting out with your harness training, we actually have a free 10 day harness training bootcamp where you'll get 10 days of training videos direct to your inbox and that will help you take your cat from harness newbie to confident harness wearer. You can find the link to that in the description below. And if there's a topic you'd like me to look at in a future episode, pop it in comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. 
Also remember to subscribe because we've got some great ones coming up and I would hate for you to miss them. Until then, happy cat adventuring. Give your cuties a chin rub from me and I will see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,